So welcome back to my second video on prompt templating. Okay, so I'm going to um, document this and say prompt templating. Okay. So in our last um, video, we did something on prompt templating, but this time we want to expand it to the next level, or we want to use a different way of um, doing the same thing. So we are going to start with importing the prompt template um, class. So we're going to say lang chain import prompt template. Okay. Once we run that, we are going to um, call this or instantiate this uh, from template class, and then we define um, some input variables for it. Uh, so this time we are going to give it a list of input variable. So we're going to say um, multi input input prompt. So we're going to say prompt template. And then we're going to say input variables is equal to a list of. So the first one is going to be like adjective. And then the second one is going to be, let's say, the content. OK. Once we do this, um, we can also pass in the template and then say, tell me a, a placeholder. And then we say joke about, about another one, which is gonna be the content. So these are just placeholder, okay? So if you look at it carefully, all it's doing is going to replace the adjective with this one, and then the content with this one. Okay, so let's run this. Let me see what is going on here. From template, I look at the error. Okay, so I think we need to put uh cannot have input input variable input variables input okay i think the mistake is coming from caps you can see it's um caps in instead of lower so i'm going to say variable and then this should work. Okay. It's one of those things. Sometimes you need to look for it and debug it. So basically, this is how we design the prompt um, template. And then we can now call multi input prompt dot format. And then we can say adjective is equal to let's say funny joke about the content is going to be let's say ai okay funny joke about ai then let's run this you see so this is the placeholder the the adjective is a funny 
and then the content is the AI. Okay. Now we want to wrap it around the LLM. Okay, just like what we did here. Okay, so I'm going to wrap that around the LLM. I'm just going to say print LLM and then we pass in um, the format. So I'm going to run this. What did the AI say when it realized it had made a mistake? The answer is self-correcting. Okay, so that is a funny joke. If we run this again, what did the AI say when it was asked for an answer to life, the universe and everything? It said 42. So these are random stuff that um, we can think about. Okay, let's change it to chicken. Or uh, let's make it goat. Funny joke about goat. Okay, so let's run this. What do you call a goat that likes to laugh? And the answer is well, a kidla. So basically, that is something funny about good. Um, so that is all. Also, this um, prompt, we can also save it to a dex and then reuse it later on. Okay, so we can say dot save and then we call it dot json and then just run this so once we run this and save it this is what we get multi input prompt dot json if we open it this is the input and then the template and then the f string validated is true and all that so this is something you can reload back and reuse it again Okay, so that's another way of saving your prompt. Assuming it's a very big uh, prompt, you can save it in that manner and reuse it over time. The next thing we are going to talk about is um, um, how to combine large language models and prompts in multiple steps. Okay. So that's the next thing we want to do. So I'm just going to paste in some few import and then I'll explain what is going on. So this is our import, the prompt templates, the open AI, the new one, is what LLM chain, okay, large language model chain. Okay, so already you are familiar with these two. So I just introduced the third one, which is LLM chain. Okay, let's run that. And then um, you are also familiar with, um, where is it? We're also familiar with this LLM, so I'm just going to paste that. Um, let me paste it here. And um, you're also familiar with the other prompt. Um, let's say the food one. You're also familiar with that from the previous videos. So I'm going to paste that as well. So the new thing that I'm going to introduce here is the chain. Okay, so we say chain is equal to um, LLM chain, okay? And this LLM chain is going to take some few um, parameters. It's going to take the base prompt template as well as the base language model. 
Okay, so these are the two things that I'm going to pass in. So the first one is LLM is equal to LLM. And then we are going to also pass the prompt in there. Okay, so I'm just going to say print chain dot run. Okay, so that is the command. You will run the chains. So let's say want um what are the five vacation destinations for some one who likes to eat um mangoes okay so that is how we can change the large language model as well as the prompt okay so you are combining these two things so take note and then these mangoes will be passed to the placeholder food, okay? So that is the idea. So you are just combining or chaining the large language model as well as the prompt. And then this parameter run here will be replaced here. So let's run this. You see, so you can see that it gave us five places, Mumbai, India, Thailand, Mauritius, San Diego, California, and Dominican Republic. Okay, so this is um, what they mean by chaining large language models and prompts in multiple steps. Okay, so you are chaining a series of um, objects together. So in my next video, I'm going to talk about um, using agents, okay? So the agent will look out for tools that, that are appropriate for um, a particular um, prompt, okay? So um, I'll leave you here. Um, keep practicing. I'll see you in the next one.